while I was at my parents' house, they they often uh, you know they keep clippings of things you know if if we've been mentioned in the papers. I don't know if you've heard this, Carl. In the Sunday Times, they uh, someone's written a letter about Carl. Wow. Uh, they can send in comments and views on things they've seen, read, heard. Oh, excellent. And this is what it, someone wrote to the uh, Sunday Times. Who is Carl Pilkington? And why have I just wasted five minutes of my life listening to some of his cretinous thoughts on Channel 4? He asked, why are there so many dinosaurs on display in museums? Quotes, couldn't they just choose the best one and just show that? He summed it all up by deciding that we know too much. Somebody clearly doesn't know enough to know that this is a complete waste of airtime showing no wit, intellect or creativity. That's from Wendy in Berkshire. You can't have your critics. Do you know what I mean? You've got to have your critics. Of course you have. If everybody liked what you did, then you're not doing the right thing. <laughs> but think how angry she must have been to have bothered writing this letter to the Sunday yeah. Times. Well, that's good. I mean, though. you it's really must have. It's all about getting people thinking. That's what I always say to you. As long as I'm getting people thinking about what I've said, she remembered what I said. Yeah. I'll tell you now, right? This, uh, yeah. If I don't know if Wendy's, you know, listen to this. But, Almost certainly not. But listen, right? <laughs> I was saying about the the uh, museums, right, and how they're big and everything, and they've Brilliant. got dinosaurs all over the shop. I read right. that mm. in the, in that museum, they've got something like. Uh, seven million bits of stuff in there, <laughs> right? Now, when I spend two hours in somewhere, just show me the good stuff. Don't be saying we've got seven million bits, because there was a fella, who, a fella who opened it. Right, I did a bit of research on the museum. What museum was it? It was the London one. Oh, the London one, yeah. Good. So he's in there and he's he's collecting all this, you know, bits of stuff. What stuff? Just whatever's knocking about at that oh, time. Okay. It, just, it seemed like you he never, have researched it. He never chucked anything away. So oh. Like, oh, I won't put it in the bin. Pop it on the shelf. Okay, right? so yeah. So he's put everything on a shelf oh, in right, the museum. Yeah. Then as time. Oh, I think you're off, going into too much detail, but just give us the gist of it. No, but all I'm saying is, uh, he keeps everything, and if you keep everything, sometimes it'll be good stuff, right? Um, and a lot of the stuff was going missing. The good stuff. Well, people who set these museums up are just as crafty. <laughs> what? The fellow who found Tutankhamen, he was pocketing all sorts of fingers and stuff in his pockets on the way out. <laughs> that had rings on them and stuff. So all I'm saying is, why is she having a go? But She's hang on, wait, no, but we just gave you the chance then to defend yourself and you just confirmed Wendy's point a thousand times over. What was all this waffle about people nicking stuff? What's that got to do with anything? Because she's having a go at me, I didn't nick But anything. she's having a go at you for talking uh, uh, nonsense uh, that's of no consequence, which is what you just did that's then. That's nonsense. But what was your point? Oh, all right, then we'll watch Wendy's little programme. When that goes out, let's see what she's got to talk about. Sick of her. This is why Wendy's having a go, though, because you're not being open-minded. You're not thinking about... But we're being open-minded to good ideas, to sensible thought, to intellectual considerations. We're not being open-minded to this utter drivel. Yeah, but every invention is a bit... Who, who'd have thought the Frisbee would have caught on? I love the fact that you think the Frisbee is the pinnacle of invention. Yeah. I think it's amazing. No, it's an example of something that, you know, if he was on some programme where, you you know, you said, I've invented this, they'd go, get out. They wouldn't, have, they wouldn't give him time of day to say, right, I've made this thing, it's out of plastic, you throw it about. What, what for? Well, you just chuck it about on the beach. What's the point? It's a bit of fun, isn't it? No, I don't like it. How okay, many that was them? an argument with himself. <laughs> No, but do you know what I mean? It's a popular little thing, and I'm just saying it's easy to put ideas down. But you've never even come up with an idea as good as the Frisbee, and that's saying something. I came up with a clippable mat that goes what? on a cup, and it's a, it's a good little thing. I haven't followed it through yet. A what? A clippable mat. What's a clippable mat? What a does that A clippable mat that you stick on a cup, so you, you can put your cup down on a table without having to go, oh, where's that mat? It's, it's clipped to the cup all the time, and you put the cup down wherever you want because it's got a mat on it. I think I've seen that. But why does it have no, to be don't. clipped? To no, it? Why couldn't it just be built into the cup? Because, uh So it clips onto... You've got our special cups. It doesn't yeah. clip onto every cup. No, but just the same way that every sauce is different. You don't say, oh, I'm sick of this sauce. It doesn't fit a mug. You, you use the sauce of that... I mean, I don't use sauces. <laughs> just don't buy that sort of But isn't of a sauce of what you're talking about? Uh Kind of, yeah, but it's clippable. See, Carl, when he disses all these great inventions and design, where he says you don't need them, it's just faffing, what he means is he's a little bit annoyed that no-one's picked up on his ideas, like the clippable mat for the mug, or, uh, I don't know, what's the one about the tie? 
Um, the tie that had a pocket. <laughs> Loads of pockets. But I didn't come up with that. That's something I, I saw somewhere. It never caught on. I've never seen anyone wearing one yet. It's such a good... It's not a good idea. It's it like having a carrier idea. bag round your neck. It doesn't make any sense. It's a tie packed with stuff. You Frank, wanna... Imagine All right, stuff. Frank, nice tie. What you got in there? Baguette. Um, <laughs> it's ridiculous. But imagine the day that the tie was invented. There you go. Do you want a tie? What do you do with it? Put it round your neck. What for? Um, well, I'll tell you. What? Um, because you haven't invented buttons yet and it keeps your shirt together at the top. Well... All right, then. Right. Uh, we've invented buttons. Are we going to stop making these ties? No. Why? <laughs> He's got you there, Rick. There you go. Now, I'm saying, what are you doing with that tie around your neck? Oh, it's a pocket tie. It's a what? It's a pocket tie. What do you mean? It's got pockets in it. Oh, huh, that's weird. What are you that's all right, I've got pockets in my jacket. Yeah, no, but but hang on, hang on a minute. It's a hot day, innit? Don't want to put your jacket on. Oh, or a tie. <laughs> well, if you're going to wear a jacket, wear a tie. Leave the no, jacket I'm not wearing on. a jacket. I'm wearing a shirt. Got give, a nice it, give it a purpose. If you're going to wear something, give it a purpose. Everything has a purpose. <laughs> a tie at the moment is just round your neck, keeping you hot. If you're going to be hot, carry something, hands free, and everything's always there. A bag, you put stuff in a bag. You put a bag down, you forget it. I always forget bags. That's why I don't like carrying them. You pop it down, you get up, you walk off. Oh, where's the bag? A tie. When you go in a cafe or something for beans on toast, you don't take your tie off. I don't wear a tie. I would if it had pockets. Go. <laughs> the country would look smarter. Right, you have pockets. So, what are you carrying in this pocket? I have got spare change. Yeah. Okay. Which uh, you're rattling around like a like a cow in Switzerland, right. just like I've got spare change. I've got uh, like my debit card in there. Right. Uh, maybe got me little front door key in one of the pockets. Okay. A uh, pair of scissors, if you want. Amazing. <laughs> that's whatever. safe, isn't it? Oh, that's, that's a good it. place to put it, just around the heart area. <laughs> yeah, and the, near the throat. <laughs> yeah. Facing upwards. Brilliant. Carl, think what you're saying. So when you when you're on the beach and you just got your speedos on, pop a tie on, go to the shop, do pop a tie. On. Well, no, you wear it in the appropriate times. But I'm just saying, if you're going to wear a tie, let's make it useful. Let's give it a purpose. Don't wear a tie. It's all right. You do not need a tie with pockets. If you're wearing a tie, you've got clothes with pockets. And it's going to be weighing your neck down. If I mean, it's not don't go mad. If you're carrying anything big, you buy the scarf version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>